Oh guys, how's it going? It's uh Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So uh yeah. I'm trying to upload a couple pictures here to uh Facebook. It's uh being a pain here, so if uh I'm trying to play the uh can you guess what kind of car this is game. Um on the way we're uh back from the urgent care today. Um yeah, from my shoulder. Uh they finally released me. Good stuff. So that way I'm 100% released now. Um, still not perfect, but um, he basically told me that I need to, you know, actually start to try to use it as much as possible and uh, try to be uh, relatively normal with it. So, but yeah, um, ran into this car on the way uh, back from the urgent care. Um, I kind of know what it is because I've seen the little uh, plate that was on it, but it's kind of a strange looking little car. I don't want to say little, but strange car, anyhow. Um, yeah, so uh, go over to the Facebook page there on uh, I Be the Lovely One there on Facebook and uh, come check it out and uh, see if you can tell me what it is or not. Like I said, I have a good idea what it is, but um, I'm in the process of uh, trying to upload the pictures now, so when you guys see this, uh, a picture should be there. So, um, update, update. So, um, last video, I had this running in the video and. Um, uh, I've got to get a cord for it, this cable. Um, I don't know if I said that in the last one or not. But, um, yeah, I actually had this running, and for some reason it didn't record the last little bit. So um, I, uh, what I had done is I stuck this zip tie on here and pulled this over, stuck the zip tie in it and tightened her up, and uh, had it running and then clipped it. Um, yeah, I'm not getting it running up here. It's on top of my other one. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, she does run. I just got to get a cable for it, and uh, she'll be ready to go because she ran pretty good. Um, I might have to get a primer bulb and clean out the carb again, but I think it'll be okay. Um, still looking for the, the uh, part for this. Uh, the MTD, I got to call the lady today and let her know what's going on with it and uh, see if they if she wants to come and look at it. If so, she can. If not, you know, no big deal. Um, and I think I'm just going to work on a shed today. I got lots to do over there. Um, so that's kind of the... Uh, plan for today guys it's a little later it's just after one quarter after or so but uh yeah so i'll get you back out if i got anything else going on guys uh my headache needs to go away tubers um yeah so i called the lady there and let her know what was going on with more um the coil went bad in her i have anything to do with it i can't make it do anything better until i get another coil for it um so i am on the lookout for a coil um yeah so I don't know, I'm debating cleaning up the garage because I've got a mess in here or go out and work on a shed. Um, shed's not a huge, huge deal, but I think I'm going to Kings Island on Tuesday um, for a little while, but we'll have to see what goes on with that. Uh, it's actually reasonable right now, so that's why I was thinking about doing the garage. I can do the shed anytime, but the garage is a mess right now with all the crap in here. So maybe I'll work on the garage for a little while and then go out and mess with the shed. I don't know, it just depends. So, yeah, you guys will see. Shit everywhere see the craftsman and then i got the craft smashman back here and then i got the two mowers here and yeah there's stuff everywhere guys so um i really need to get the shed done so that way i can take a few of these things and put them back there so that way they're out of the way because i got all these other mowers and all the crap that's out here they can go back here too so yeah i don't know all right let me debate here and i'll figure it out oh tubes here's the car i was talking about so um yeah, can you tell what it is? I have a good idea. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Mm, may not. Let's see here. It's on my phone, guys. So um, go over to the Facebook page there and um, you know hit the like button and uh, uh, come comment over there because uh, I've got a picture uploaded over there of this car. Um, so uh, like I said, I got a good idea what it is. I think I've seen them before, but it's been a while. So. Um, come over that way and um, hit the like button. I don't post a whole lot over there, guys. You know, you Facebook too, guys there. Uh, um, once in a while, I'll post a, a little tidbit up of uh, a picture of something of what I'm doing. Um, so come over that way, guys, and uh, hit the like button over there for me, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, as if you can't tell, I think I decided I want to come over this way and work on the shed here a little bit. Um, she's all nice and dry inside in here, but uh, everything out here is wet, as you see. Um, it rained uh, a few days ago. I think it rained yesterday too. It looks like we got some hand windows back here. Uh, yeah, so I have to sweep that junk off of there. But um, that door, I'm gonna have to cut up into there. It looks like uh, maybe to get this door to go in there, which is fine. I gotta put a plywood on the front of it, and uh, 
this side over here um, as you guys can see um, she leaks across the bottom there so what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to cut take the shingles off the outside cut the bottom of it off put a new piece in there and seal it and put shingles on it for now just to get me by um, looks like she leaks a little bit there so I thought about just re-shingling the whole thing but I'm going to try to do this as cheap as possible to get me by for a little bit and uh, yeah this should usually stayed pretty dry um, I'm going to have to put a new piece of uh, plywood on the back here, which you guys see that. Uh, but, yeah, overall, not bad, guys. Um, so, uh, let's get at her, guys. i got to uh, move a few things around, get this floor jacked up just a tad so I can get my uh, other brace across the bottom here and uh, get her going, guys. Ah, uh, tubers. So, we're in the shed. I'm standing in the middle of it. <laughs> Getting seasick yet, guys? Okay, so, there's the floor. Oh my god, the floor's there. And all the boards and stuff are in there. I still gotta take this this piece out and I got another one on the other side. So yeah, slight miscalculation upon myself here. Um, not a huge deal. So it's on the front, so I don't care. Um the way this is I got got this freaking gap here. Um so I'm debating exactly how I want to do this because I'm gonna put a um uh I'm not gonna do steps, I want a ramp. Um, so I'm probably gonna come out three or four feet there so I can get in and out of it with a ramp dealie. Um, so I thought about putting a, a two before across here and put a straight, you know, get a treated piece of two before and go across there and uh, maybe bevel that back edge so it makes it easier to get in and out of um, and use that as part of the, uh, the top part of the ramp there or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, but we'll, I'll decide that as I go along. So, but yeah, um, she's sitting down here. Um, I still got to do this side, but I'm going to attach um, the rest of this over here, at least attach this side down, um, because what I'm going to do is, I'm actually probably going to take this whole piece of plywood off, um, so that way I can get to all this on the bottom of it. I may take this whole wall out, and then fix it, and then reattach everything as I go. Um, it'll probably be easier that way for me. Um, the, the shed's pretty sturdy here, so I don't think she's going anywhere, at least for now. Um, yeah, I still got to get a sheet of plywood for the back, and I got to do this, of course, y'all. Y'all seen that. So, yeah, tubes, she's coming along. Ah, uh, tubers. So I got to clear out some more brush here so I can get to this plywood on the side. Um, lucky for me that uh, this has been replaced once upon a time, so it's just screwed in here. So um, I'm going to try to pull this whole sheet off of there, and then uh, maybe save the sheet of plywood. I don't know. It's a little rough on the bottom, but uh, maybe at least save part of it. So, uh i got to clear some more of this out of here so I can get in here, so. Uh, tubers, so I get her together and then I take it apart. So, uh, yeah, working on this side over here, you guys can see where this is all rotted and dicked up. So, I'm going to pull this stuff out of here and get this new board in here and get her nailed in and screwed in and whatnot. Probably screwed in here, and then uh, I've got to figure out um, how I want to do the door. Um, I'm thinking about setting the door up. Um, all the way this way which would be to the right of the shed and then um, making a panel on this side on the right side so that way I can fold it out okay um, I don't know if that if you understand what I'm saying or not um, but that way I could make the door wider if I needed to um, so it would go all the way up against this jam and then make me a fold out piece that'll fold out so it only be seven or eight inches wide but that way that'll be the, the side make it so I can put a pin in here on the floor but be able to open this up and be able to get a wider item in there if I needed to um, so I don't know I'm still debating on that part because I still got to go up because this is 78 inches I think I measured um, so it's got to go up a good few inches there uh, but yeah but that'll come in a little while I got to get this on here and uh, get this board back on there um, she is a little little squishy on the bottom but I think it'll be fine for for now it's just kind of squishy here on the bottom um, I might flip it upside down and put the bottom at the top so that way it didn't quite so quite so squishy on the bottom uh, but she was just screwed in there the whole side was screwed in but yeah let's get to work guys uh, it's a giant hole in the wall okay so uh, I got the new plate down here um, she's a little off there but I don't care uh, so just got to get the uh, boards and stuff put back on here and uh, that's what I'm working on now, getting the nails and stuff out of it and uh, getting everything put back in there. So uh, we're getting there guys. Oh, boards are up. Next, plywood. So uh, yeah, maybe today I'll get the, uh, get the door and stuff on here. We'll see. 
Ah, uh, tubers, she's coming along, guys. So, uh, so there's a door in it. So, yeah, this shed is wampus as hell. So, if you look at the front of this, the door is level in and out and left and right. And uh, the bottom, it's actually centered right in the middle on the bottom. But the top, it has no way. So, she's cocked way over here to the right. Um, I'm not trying to, and, and the floor is completely level too, guys. Um, I don't quite understand it, but uh, the shed is uh, wampus of shit. But um, I'm just going to deal with it the way that it is because I'm not trying to straighten her out. Because um, she's, uh, you know, this side leans out and that side leans in a little. Um, I mean, I may try to straighten it a little bit, but um, like I said, I think she's going to, I think that's the way she is because I got stuck in the door in there just to kind of see how wampus it was. And uh, yeah, she's out of, she's out of kilter, guys. You see it. Um, it's uh, 24 inches between this little board here and there, and then 24 inches, like something like that. Um, yeah. So she's just dry fitted in there for the moment. I still got to get um, some boards and stuff to put in here. And um, yeah. So if you look at the this here and this, and this is a there, it's even there. But uh, you can tell at the top here how far off it is. So yeah, but like I said. The door's level, everything's in there the way she's supposed to be. But that's the way she goes, guys. Um, I've uh, only bought two two befores moving the shed and the stuff for the floor, so I got like a hundred bucks in moving the shed. Um, yeah, and the guy gave me this door for five bucks. So I'm not going to make the door any wider. I thought about making a piece, but as I got to looking at it, the more I messed with it, the more out of kilter she was. So. Um, I'm not trying to uh, adjust the shed to make it fit because uh, I'm afraid of screwing the shed up more than what she already is so but yeah this side's done all screwed back together um, gotta get a piece of plywood for the back and I've got a couple small pieces of plywood that I'm gonna put in here I think I'm gonna take this whole thing out but I just cut it just uh, temporary so I can get the door and stuff in here the less I take out as I'm doing it the uh, the less wampus she gets. Oh shit, that fell. So, yeah, that's the way she's going, guys. Um, it's like, I don't know what time it is. I've been out here for a while, about since once. I've been out here about four hours, four and a half hours messing with this. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm about to hang her up and pick my stuff up and uh, get my stuff put away here. But, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up for me. Uh, hope you like the videos. Yeah, and uh, make sure you guys come over to the Facebook page there and uh, try to figure out what this car is. Um, like I said, I kind of got a good idea, but uh, I've already got a couple people over there already guessing. And uh, so, good. so, guys, this stupid camera likes to flicker once in a while. Um, yeah, that's the way she's going. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.